Hi everyone, all India round two counseling has started. And this video is for those who are yet to try out Zynert uh, on how Zynert can be extremely helpful and make a crucial difference in the choice filling and decisions that you're going to make for NEET PG 2021. Uh, the features of quick seat matrix check for actual vacancies and virtual vacancies against a particular seat combination, correlation of seat matrix to last year's closing ranks to all India round one 2020 in closing ranks is available in Zynert. The availability of fee, bonds, stipend details of almost all institutes course-wise, including DNB and NB diploma institutes would be really helpful during choice filling. This is based on the details available in the NCC websites and also based on GOs that we have verified and candidate information that we have verified to a great extent. This should be the best information that you have today to take decisions. And Zyner is the only website to have every state round one allotment and closing ranks available for reference to make round two decisions after your All India round two allotment or after you move on to say state round two and state mop up allotments. And in the next two to three minutes, I'll explain very quickly the features of Zyner, what is available and how you can use this information. I'm sure it will be helpful to you a lot during choice fillings and later decisions. So just uh, spend these two to three minutes to see what Zyner offers you. On the landing page, you will see the announce, announcements in the event section. The announcements will have every event announcement updated by the end of the day. So you will know all the announcements for your particular counseling. You can just search the announcements based on the counseling that uh, uh, you belong to, and uh, you'll be able to see all the latest announcements under Zyner. And uh, you will also have the events that are happening on the day. So if it is round two registration is starting on a particular day and the upcoming events uh, which are starting over the next uh, few days uh, till the last scheduled date for every counseling, you will be able to see that. And this will help you in knowing the deadlines and uh, taking decisions accordingly. And the most crucial part is the data part, the information that will help you take decisions and fill in your choices. The tabs of allotments, closing ranks, seat matrix, fee and sty fee stipend and bond are very important. Uh, uh, very important features that will help you in uh, taking decisions. Uh, we'll have a look at the fees and stipend and bond details, uh, which are uh, available in Zynet. You can select any state and pick up any particular course within the state and see whether uh, see for that particular course in all the institutes what is the stipend a bond and stipend that is available so you can filter it out on the bond if i want to see which institutes offer zero bond zero years of bond which institute offers one year of bond etc you will be able to see that here this is for all government institutes under aaq as well as for all deemed institutes under all india quota uh, under the all india counseling and uh, we are yet to update this for the additional newly added seats we'll do that by uh, 9th Feb max by 12 noon so that it will be helpful for you to take decisions. There are a few clinical seats that have been added in certain deemed universities as well. We will be adding that. Uh, you will have the stipend, the bond penalty, the number of years and the fee for uh, management fee, quota fee and the NRI quota fee if they are separate for deemed universities. Otherwise, you will have the course fee for the institute which is shared by the institute through the MCC portal or through the websites. You will also have uh, you can also have a look at specific bond details or any specific uh, implementation related details if implementation is different uh, and we have we have been able to confirm that you for deemed institutes you will know what fee is deducted after uh, round one resignation what will be the deduction after round two so that also will be available for institutes which have shared that information uh, next uh, very crucial thing at this stage during All India Round to Choice feeling is the seat matrix. So you go into the seat matrix tab and click on All India and DNB put together. Uh, you will have the entire list of all seats available in the seat matrix listed down in this particular page. So uh, you don't have to look at multiple PDFs to find out what seats are there for a particular category that you belong to for a particular specialty in a particular institute. So if I'm looking at round two seat matrix, I just click on round two seat matrix. I can select a particular institute, let's say Madras Medical College, and I select a particular course, say MD Pediatrics. And I know that my category, the category I belong to is gen category. And so you will have all the pediatric seats that are available in Madras Medical College for gen category. And this refers to zero seats which are available, which are totally vacant and three seats which are virtually vacant, which means there are zero seats which no one is holding. No vacant seats are available, which no one is holding and three seats which some individual is holding who has joined after All India Round 1 and is looking for upgradation. The person has opted for upgradation. Therefore, three seats are available and they will be available to you if this person upgrades to a better seat, if they opt for some other seat and upgrades to a better seat. Similarly, you will be able to see that for every course in Madras Medical College in case you want to uh, look at it, or if you want to look at a particular course and let's say, uh, PD, I want to look at pediatrics in all 
seats for general and OBC category, you will be able to see the entire list of seats that are available for pediatrics under general and OBC category in round two. This will be your list of choices for round two. The entire list of choices for round two is this. You will have 330 choices under Gen and OBC in pediatrics across, including all quotas. So if you belong to All India Quota, just select All India Quota and you will see only All India Quota related choices. Now here the crucial, the most important thing that can help you make a decision is this part. You will know the seats that are available. One seat is available, which is the total number of seats and three virtual vacancies are available. This can help you derive possibilities, but it is immaterial. You are anyways going to submit your choice based on your preference list, irrespective of whether it, there is going to be a minor chance of getting it or uh, a major chance of getting it. You are going to fill in choices as per your preference. Now, how do you define your preference? That is where uh, this table is going to help you. Let us say I don't know the preference for institutes in Assam. I am very confused. I will click, I will select Assam and then check on all the choices that are available, all these choices are available. So you'll be able to fill all these choices. But I also have the closing ranks of all these choices in round one. This is a preference of candidates. So you this will give you an idea to start with on where these institutes, pediatric seats closed. You will also have to look at the category, whether it is a gen seat or an OBC seat. And you will also have to look at how close these closing ranks are to decide and evaluate on whether you should change these order of choices, basis information that you may get from seniors or you may source from outside. But this will give you a base to start with. So if I have completely no idea on how, what are the general surgery seats that are available in uh, Assam and then I want to take a call on that, you will have uh, something to start with as far as, uh, uh, as, far as uh, uh, your choice list is concerned, you will have somewhere to start with. So uh, this gives you a complete idea of the closing ranks. You can filter on gen if you want to have a preference list so that it is very clear that the order is only related to gen and you will have a strong preference list here, which will start as a base. There might be some cases, for instance, let me take one institute, which is a, which is an uh, DNB institute. So if I take Aster CMI, which is a DNB institute, I'll click on, uh, I'll uh, click on Aster CMI here. So uh, it will give me the, the entire closing ranks of Aster CMI here. Now, uh, here you should be very sure that this is a, the DMRD seat in Aster CMI is one seat, which is a seat which was not available in All India Counseling of 2020. So when there is a, uh, so this doesn't, what does this say? This actually says that this seat was not available in All India 2020 and therefore we don't have a closing rank for reference. We only have that round one 2021 closing ranks for reference. So you always go to the last part to see if there is any such seat which doesn't have a closing rank reference, which may not reflect in the sorting order and add that as well. So that is just because uh, there are a few seats which are not available in the last year and we will not be able to sort them out as per the order of preference, which anyways is the case even if you're using a PDF. Now this will be really helpful for filling your choices and hope this helps you. In addition, if you still want to look back and go back and look at the closing ranks of any state for All India round one of 2021, you can just go back and look at the closing ranks of All India round one on 2021 for the courses that you prefer and you will be able to correlate on where these courses closed in that particular state. This will also give you a preference order if you, in case you are not able to do it through the other seat matrix. The seat matrix will give you the preference order for the seats that you have. Here you can get a preference order in case there is no seat last year, etc. and all uh, uh, in the in the in the last year counseling, etc. But it is available in the first round of our, the state. You can go back and get a preference order here. So this hope this is extremely helpful for you. And uh, please subscribe to Zynert. Uh, till round two, we have decided to extend it to the same discounted uh, price. But post round two, we'll definitely be changing the subscription plans. So uh, and we will also be bringing in features of comparing round one, the entire counselings of one round to another putting mapping one candidate's uh, seat against another to look at the vacancies that may arise, et cetera. So I'm sure that is going to be far more useful in at least giving you the data for uh, better data for taking decisions. Thanks a lot. Please keep sharing with others if you find this useful. Thank you.